I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Do your own research. Consult a professional investment advisor before making any investment decisions. This show is for entertainment only. Faites vos propres recherches. Here we are. In another episode. Of the Simple Success Podcast. And this is Financial Life Coaching from a Happiness Perspective. AI, AI, we make you wonder why. Did you just make that up, DT? I did. I did just that, my liege. Kind of creative, don't you think? Well, actually, it's a lot more synthetic than creative. Because the music was already created. You just synthesized it by adding new words. Oh, but we're talking about imagination still, right? I imagine we are. I see what the writers did there. And you must be dying to know what kind of imagination, right? That I am, thou greasy banana skin. Flattery will get you everywhere, D.T. And just for that... Just for what? For being flattering, you get to hear the difference between the two. And may I assume you'll connect the dots for us later about investing and such? Yes, you may assume that. So, you gave me an example earlier of creative imagination, which is completely untied to anything else we know. Another example of which is a tape recorder. And the devices that came before that as things which could store a human voice. Like, never previously possible. Where is that wax cylinder when you need it? Yeah, and as opposed to synthetic imagination? Which brings two known ideas together in a new way to solve a new problem. So which one of those imagination methods works better in investing? Both. Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying that both work equally well, or that they both work equally poorly? I'm saying they both work equally well. But why would they both work equally well? Because both are based on the same principles and because different people need different tools. What principles? The principle of creativity. Which is? To create something out of nothing. Which is? Which is? Something which has never been done before. Why? Because I can and you can too. It's called imagination. Yes, I imagine it is. It is. Are you sure? It is! Okay, you pass. Oh, but now you get to tell me how being creative with investing is a good idea. Tying things in already? Not quite. That'll come soon enough. Just trying to help our listeners make good sense of our story today. Good point. So, when we talk about investing creatively, what exactly does that mean? It means that we should use all the tools at our disposal to find solutions to problems that aren't necessarily obvious. Like what? Like using your brain, your gut, your heart, your head, your hands, your feet, your eyes, your ears, your nose, your mouth, your tongue, your teeth, your fingers, your toes, your knees. Are you being recursive? Your elbows, your hips, your shoulders, your back, your stomach, your chest, your neck, your... You are being recursive like GBT. Got it. And so the question is, are you using this creatively or synthetically? Again, both. We invest creatively when we do something that's never been done before. Sounds pretty rare. It is, but it's good to be aware of it. And then? And then we invest synthetically when we combine two existing ideas together in a new way. And that's all it takes? Pretty much. If it's a new way for everybody, then we might really be an inventor or maybe an entrepreneur who can sell the method. But if it's not new? Well, if it's not new for everybody, but it's still new for you, then try it judiciously. It might not set you apart from the rest of the human race, but it can still be a big benefit. As this said, shoot for the stars and be okay with ending up on the moon. Yeah, you're still a lot further ahead, aren't you? Yes, like those people who came up with the idea of a computer program that could create art. Right, that's the Dolly thing. We're going to do a whole episode on that soon. It's a great example of how our brains work. So, let's go solve a problem or do some sort of goal-oriented thing. Yeah, okay. Like, when we try to figure out how to get from point A to point B. Oh, you know how I hate geometry. Maybe I can just get everybody to breathe in unison. But first, break number two. Hello, everyone. This is John with the Simple Success Podcast, financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Because we know you want to show us some serious love in return for the tremendous benefits you get from us, please subscribe to us in your favorite podcast player. You can find us on both the App Store and the Play Store because our message is for everyone. Leave a rating for us or even better, tell a friend. 
whichever you choose. Thank you so much for helping us do this for you. To leave us a written message, which just might lead to more in a future podcast, go to those same written show notes to find our subreddits. There is also our Facebook group page, Twitter, and other ways which we'll tell you about from time to time. You can also find an Easter egg every so often, so listen closely. Thank you again, and keep those constructive ideas coming. AI, AI, we make you wonder why. Did you just make that up, DT? I did. I did just that, my liege. Kind of creative, don't you think? Well, actually, it's a lot more synthetic than creative. Because the music was already created. You just synthesized it by adding new words. Oh, but we're talking about imagination still, right? I imagine we are. I see what the writers did there. And you must be dying to know what kind of imagination, right? That I am, thou greasy banana skin. Flattery will get you everywhere, E.T. And just for that... Just for what? For being flattering, you get to hear the difference between the two. And may I assume you'll connect the dots for us later about investing and such? Yes, you may assume that. So, you gave me an example earlier of creative imagination, which is completely untied to anything else we know. Another example of which is a tape recorder. And the devices that came before that as things which could store a human voice. Like, never previously possible. Where is that wax cylinder when you need it? Yeah, and as opposed to synthetic imagination? Which brings two known ideas together in a new way to solve a new problem. So which one of those imagination methods works better in investing? Both. Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying that both work equally well, or that they both work equally poorly? I'm saying they both work equally well. But why would they both work equally well? Because both are based on the same principles and because different people need different tools. What principles? The principle of creativity. Which is? To create something out of nothing. Which is? Which is? Something which has never been done before. Why? Because I can and you can too. It's called imagination. Yes, I imagine it is. It is. Are you sure? It is! Okay, you pass. Oh, but now you get to tell me how being creative with investing is a good idea. Tying things in already? Not quite. That'll come soon enough. Just trying to help our listeners make good sense of our story today. Good point. So, when we talk about investing creatively, what exactly does that mean? It means that we should use all the tools at our disposal to find solutions to problems that aren't necessarily obvious. Like what? Like using your brain, your gut, your heart, your head, your hands, your feet, your eyes, your ears, your nose, your mouth, your tongue, your teeth, your fingers, your toes, your knees. Are you being recursive? Your elbows, your hips, your shoulders, your back, your stomach, your chest, your neck, your... You are being recursive like GBT. Got it. And so the question is, are you using this creatively or synthetically? Again, both. We invest creatively when we do something that's never been done before. Sounds pretty rare. It is, but it's good to be aware of it. And then? And then we invest synthetically when we combine two existing ideas together in a new way. And that's all it takes? Pretty much. If it's a new way for everybody, then we might really be an inventor or maybe an entrepreneur who can sell the method. But if it's not new? Well, if it's not new for everybody, but it's still new for you, then try it judiciously. It might not set you apart from the rest of the human race, but it can still be a big benefit. As I said, shoot for the stars and be okay with ending up on the moon. Yeah, you're still a lot further ahead, aren't you? Yes, like those people who came up with the idea of a computer program that could create art. Right, that's the Dolly thing. We're going to do a whole episode on that soon. It's a great example of how our brains work. So, let's go solve a problem or do some sort of goal-oriented thing. Yeah, okay. Like, when we try to figure out how to get from point A to point B. Oh, you know how I hate geometry. Maybe I can just get everybody to breathe in unison. But first, break number two. We know a lot about you already. Because we know ourselves. For example, we know that you know how to listen to our podcast. We also know that you probably know how to subscribe. So as soon as you're done with that, tell us your story. We have ways you can contact us. It involves a special link where you can leave us a message. We may have an email address for you as well in the future, and we'll let you know if that happens. The reason for subscribing? 
I thought you'd never ask. When you subscribe, you automatically download all future episodes of that podcast. It just happens in your player without you having to go search again. How cool is that? This means better rankings for the podcast, more attention from advertisers, and more money. And this means more and better stuff for you. So your motivation is simple and easy. Subscribe today, whatever app and from whatever place you like. And don't just try to subscribe. There is no try. There is only do. We're changing the way we look at things. And remember, that's good. Eso es bueno, Sibyl. Also remember, this is financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Coaching happiness. Our call to action is right in the show notes. Find it and you win too. So to sum up what you've said so far about this idea. Yes. Do go on, kind sir. You've given us some examples of creative imagination. Indeed I have. And you've given us some examples of synthetic imagination. Your memory is quite impressive, my liege. Is that our simple solution today? It fucking common me. Huh? I thought people only talked like that in medieval plays. This is timeless knowledge, my dear DT. Oh, right. So to tie this further to investing, I want everyone to understand that when we think about the world around us, we're not just thinking about things that are real or physical. We're also thinking about things that aren't real or physical. Right. For example, we can imagine things that don't exist yet, but could exist in the future. That's how things get invented. Like what? In investing terms, please. Okay. For example, if you were to ask me, what's the best investment opportunity today? What would be your answer? Oh, creative minded one. My answer would be something like, I'd say the best investment opportunity today is the ability to invest in yourself. A bit cliche, no? Not at all. So it's true then? Yeah, it's true. But it's also true that there are many other investments out there. Yeah, sure. For example, there are lots of different ways to invest in technology. Sure. There are lots of different ways you can invest in other kinds of companies. Sure. And there are lots of different types of assets out there. Different types for different types of people. That's good. Which is good. Yeah. The point is that you need to start asking questions about what you're going to do next, what you're going to control next. And the first questions you should be asking must be to yourself. About what? Mostly about your goals. To pick what investment, what technology, what company, and even what asset requires starting with something relatively comfortable. Okay. Because if you start by trying to solve problems that are outside of your comfort zone, you'll find that they're harder than you expected them to be. You can start from an easier place and work up to that. That makes sense. And if you overly delay an investment decision, you'll probably end up having to change your mind again because the situation has changed. Yeah, strike while the iron is hot. Sort of. With the idea that doing something means that you'll get somewhere. Exactly. You start with what you know. Gotcha. Start with the first step. Oh, like the old proverb, a journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. Yeah, that's the idea. Great advice. Thanks. You are welcome, Donata Durian. Now let's finish up by talking about how we make these ideas work for you. All right. First, you need to figure out where you're headed. Where am I headed? Are you ready for a little quiz? Yeah. Here are three ideas. Yep. Okay, pay close attention. Pick any one of them and say, yes, it's a good idea, or no, it's a bad idea. Okay. So I'll just say the word once and you respond. Okay, go ahead. Patient. Yes, it's a good idea. Practice. Yes, it's a good idea. Repetition. Yes, it's a good idea. That's three for three. That's a win-win. Which is how you've all gotten good. Gracias por escuchar. Salut. A la prochaine. This podcast and our other podcast are productions of Little Red Hen Industries. The supporting cast who helps me bake the bread includes... Techno King, John C. Brandy, Alter Ego, Doubting Thomas, Fact Checker, A Small Brown Beef Animal, Seriously, Tiny, Facts Are Important But Are Also Easy, Social Manager, Abraham Lincoln, Media Expert, Augustus Caesar, Psychologist, William James, Sound Designer, Adobe's Creative Suite, Spanish Consultant, Cameron J.K. Brandy, French Consultant, Leah, The Do Your Own Research Lady, Videographer, Eto Monkoshki, Audio Props, Les Paul, Inspiration, Many Podcasts and Other Sources and of course Napoleon Hill, we also have websites, and you can subscribe to both podcasts. You can even send us a video, audio, or text message. But, of course, you'll have to head to the show notes, either on your phone or on the web, to get the links and stuff. 
and all those clickable links are in the show notes. And before we forget, the artificial intelligence or AI voices that you hear in our work are offered up by Google, Amazon Polly, and OpenAI like we say in the show notes. They don't sponsor us yet but we love what they do and we just love what AI can do when lovingly crafted. Finally, you can find us on ProtMatch.com, Matchmaker.fm, Podbooker and Podcast Guests where we consider guests and consider guesting on other people's shows. And really finally, the music for our pods comes from Cute by Ben Sound and from Piano Background by Nick Simon Adams. As well as from AI MuseNet, the sound effect credits go to Jackson Academy Ashmore, Kanusi G, Dr. Jekyll, Joe Payne, Everything Sounds, MK Play More Stories, ERH, Sand Emotions, Big Pickle 51, and Just Kidding, yes that's his or her name, all on freesound.org, also, language is other bomb. Paul. <laughs>